I'm Thomas Summers, and I'm out here in the middle of this sandstorm to tell you about cacti, our prickly friends. Okay, so I don't have the budget to go out in the middle of a desert and film about cacti, but I'm still well prepared. Cacti are some truly fascinating plants. Rather than leaves, they have spines, which they use to defend themselves. They also use their spines for shade. Now the shade from their spines may seem counterproductive compared to leaves, but leaves and their wide faces made to collect sunlight for photosynthesis don't work so well when the sun is beating down so hot that it's evaporating all the leaf's water content. So the cacti have spines and they don't have to worry about the spines losing water content because the spines are just dead tissue and they don't do photosynthesis. All the photosynthesis is actually done by the stem. Even more interesting, cacti don't breathe during the day. Leaves have a specific part called the stoma. The stoma controls letting oxygen out and carbon dioxide in. The issue is all this opening and closing can leave the plant vulnerable to water loss in the desert heat. So cacti actually have their stomata closed up all day, then they open them up at night when it's nice and cool. They let out all the oxygen and take in all the CO2. Then they process all that CO2 with photosynthesis during the day. I've picked up this little guy from Walmart to give you a more intimate experience with cacti. And by intimate, I mean stabby. We're gonna cut him open and show you what he looks like inside for educational purposes. Before I mutilate the little fella, I bet you noticed the pretty hat he's wearing. Well, cacti have flowers for the same reason as any other plant, to reproduce sexually through pollination. They have large, bright flowers to attract all the birds, bats, and bugs of the desert. But of course, the desert is pretty harsh, and extreme circumstances can leave the cacti in situations where they won't be able to easily reproduce sexually. So cacti have a trick up their sleeve. They can also reproduce asexually. They can have a piece cut off and that part can grow into its own cactus. They can reproduce just from a part of their body. Just like this little guy can. And he'll have to since he's not flowering right now. Oh? What's that? What do I mean he's not flowering right now? Well. I can't say with 100% confidence whether this is or is not what this cactus looks like when he does bloom, but I can say this. This flower has been glued. <laughs> it's an evil little trick. Places that sell these little potted fellas do. They feel the cactus looks too bland, so they just super glue a flower on top. I mean, the flower doesn't necessarily hurt the cactus, but it's almost impossible to remove. And it's just downright rude. I mean, Super gluing a flower onto a cactus is like gorilla gluing a wig onto a human. I almost feel bad for the little guy. Oh, kind of looks like he's trying to give me a hug. I can't. I'm sorry, buddy. Come here.